Even though it's a little bit morbid, I kind of wish they would bring this back at Disneyland. Well, I do miss the original Pet Cemetery, but no, not that. Although there are a few morbid things in Disneyland, it's probably better we don't have any more. Like the sacred Indian burial ground of the Lakota Sioux, which was there from 1956 to the 1990s. But that's not the only burial ground that used to be at Disneyland because along the shores of Tom Sawyer Island was another grave marker, namely some gravestones that were actually pretty hard to spot. So they replaced them with a second set before removing them altogether in 1957, right about the time they put this new path in for Fort Wilderness. Speaking of Fort Wilderness, around the back is where you used to be able to stroll in the Pioneer Cemetery and see a few gravestones like this one that means here I am, here I remain, a grave marker for Sacagawea, and one that said Amos Wilson that used to be H.G. Gillette, that is Harvey Gillette, who did a lot of facades in Disneyland. And Amos Wilson was also someone who worked in Disneyland painting teacups and the Columbia. But of all the gravestones we've lost in Disneyland over the years, I kind of wish they'd bring this one back. 